All this week we've taken a look back at Marsh's 37-year career and also at 6.30, a half-hour show, Marsh Nelson, A Lifetime in Sports. We hope you watch it. Good show. Joe, you and Amy and everybody have been fantastic. I don't know how to start. I guess it's the <laughs> end of the line as far as uh, anchoring the sports is concerned. It's really hard to know what to say. I guess it'll hit me, oh, maybe next Tuesday or Wednesday. To say thanks to some would be awful because I'd certainly leave out many folks who have meant so much. But to Joe and all of our great news and photo staff, Terry and the rest of the KDLH people, a sincere thanks for letting me work with you now and through the long years. And to area coaches and players who have given me so many thrills. And to you folks, the general public, for your loyalty, your encouragement, and great friendship, I, I got to say thanks, especially for the cards, the letters, and the calls. And uh, I never thought this would happen, Joe, but uh, I got to thank you for whatever you've done. It's been real fun being here for part of five decades. But we've got one more show to do, and let's get it. St. Scholastica women's basketball team welcomed St. Thomas to the Rife Center this afternoon, and this was a hard-fought game all the way, back and forth. The Lady Tommies hung on to beat the Saints by 66 to 61. The St. Scholastica record goes to four and seven. The Lady Saints and the men's teams are off until the National Catholic Tournament. That's down at Loris College beginning January 4th. Elmhurst College defeated UWS men 80 to 75 last night in their tournament down in Illinois. The Jackets are facing Rust College there tonight. The UWS women are at Mayville State tonight. UMD men and women are in Kingsville, Texas for two games. That also starts tonight. UMD's hockey team completed a two-game sweep of their holiday series with Union College from New York. After a 6-3 win on Wednesday, the Dogs edged the Flying Dutchman 4-3 last night at the deck. Nicholas Axelson in goal picked up his first college win. UMD got scoring from four different men. The Dogs will host Swedish Elite Team next Tuesday at 1 o'clock at the deck. Meanwhile, the Gophers tied that Swedish Team 4-4 last night. Wisconsin captured the Badger Classic in Milwaukee 6-4 over Lake Superior State in the championship game. The annual Coaches uh, Holiday Classic Basketball Tournament winding down today and tonight at Esco. The Proctor Rails and Masaba East met for fifth place in the boys' division today, and the Rails won this one 68-48 over the Giants. Seventh place went to Moose Lake Willow River, 56-47 over Two Harbors. Esco is playing East Central for third place. Denfell faces Delano tonight at 9-10 for the boys' title. On the girls' side, International Falls uh, beaten by Isles, 66-62 for seventh place, and Hermantown over Proctor, 51-42 for fifth place. McGregor and Warroad are going for third. Barnum plays Esco at 7.30 for the girls' championship there. Chisholm Cook captured seventh place in the George Purpich Hockey Tournament at Hibbing. They beat Moundsview 4-3. Virginia MIB fell to Hopkins 4-0 for fifth, two games later there tonight. Osseo defeated Cloquet Esco Carlton 7-2 in the South St. Paul Tournament, and Duluth East is facing Elk River there in the championship at Wakuda Arena. In the War Road Tournament, Superior 2, Stevens Point 1 this afternoon. Four bowl games on this Friday, and that includes the John Hancock Sun Bowl game down in good old El Paso. And lots of scoring, very little defense, a very interesting battle here. Priest Holmes had four touchdowns, 161 yards, and 27 carries to lead the Longhorns. And Texas wins that one 35-31. It's Virginia Tech and Tennessee in the Gator Bowl, Michigan and Colorado State tonight in the Holiday Bowl. Well, the Green Bay Packers are picked by five over the Detroit Lions tomorrow, while on Sunday the Vikes by six points over the Bears. And we're going to focus on the team that we play, the Chicago Bears playoff team, and not any games that were played before. And, of course, the major item for Sunday, what about Mr. Warren Moon? Pressure. Oh, we don't have a tape of Moon. Like well, you that's said, a... to be able to protect myself. I think that's the key whenever you, you're coming off an injury, especially to your legs. And I could go in, in there and drop back and throw the football. I could stand the shotgun and throw the football. But I have to have a little bit of mobility just in case I need it. So I'm sure that's something he's very concerned about, and so am I. Okay, Marsh. Thanks, Kenny. I'd hate to go out, out <laughs> on a mistake. <laughs>
Marsh, uh, we'd like to thank you for, uh, for being here on the desk with us. You're the king. Thank you. That's thank you. right. Thank you. Thank you, Marsh. Lots of great friends. It's been a pleasure working with you. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.